Prince Harry was told he needs to learn how to behave more statesmanlike, just as Prince William does. Royal expert Ingrid Seward launched a scathing attack on the prince in which she suggested he needed to act more like his older brother. The Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, have come under fire and received harsh criticism after flying on four private jets in the space of 11 days. The decision made by the couple irked the public as they previously heard Harry and Meghan campaign for the environment on a number of occasions. When addressed by the issue at a conference in Amsterdam, Prince Harry claimed he only did it to ensure his family's safety. Writing in The Sun Ms. Seward said, Harry has always rushed in without considering the consequences, unlike his brother William, who is now regarded as someone with statesmanlike qualities. This has followed a series of PR nightmares for the Sussexes since the couple were wed in 2018. Ms. Seward added, if Harry and Meghan slowed down and took things more gently, instead of this frantic grappling for approval and attention, they might win public support. The editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine went on to suggest Harry should follow his mother's example because Princess Diana knew how to deal with the media. The royal biographer believed at the moment, with the seemingly unending criticism, Prince Harry probably deemed the media as his enemy. Ms. Seward claims the media have become hostile because of his own attitude. She said, looking at the endless criticism, he probably cursed the people he now sees as his enemy, the British media. The royal expert recalled when she wrote an article the late Princess of Wales considered wrong and inaccurate. Princess Diana then invited her to her apartment at Kensington Palace for a girly chat to win her over. Miss Seward advised Prince Harry to flatter them and make them your supporter. She added that no matter what Prince Harry's dislike for the press, he has to smile and make friends with them. The Sussexes were reminded by Miss Seward that even if the public is very generous in giving them goodwill it is finite. This follows backlash for Harry and Meghan after they rejected an invitation from the Queen to visit her in Balmoral. The Queen invites members of the royal family to join her for a short spell during her two-month stay at her Scottish estate. Last month Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, visited the Queen there with their three children. Harry and Meghan apparently felt Archie was too young to make the trip to Scotland to see his great-grandmother. A royal source said, Harry and Meghan had no plans to go to Balmoral this summer as they felt Archie was too young. It's a bit odd as his age didn't stop them taking him to Ibiza for a week and then to see Elton John in France. Meghan's pregnancy meant the couple did not visit last year. The source told The Sun that the couple would be under heavy protection and not feel their privacy was in danger. They added, if they want privacy or protection which was Harry's excuse for taking private jets there is no more protected or private holiday destination than the Queen's Scottish home. It's all very hunting, shooting, fishing up at Balmoral, so maybe that put Meghan off. She has never been to Balmoral and the Queen was disappointed they're not going. Prince Harry has been left devastated after being told to be more like his older brother Prince William in a scathing attack by a royal expert. Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle have recently faced massive backlash after flying on four private jets in just 11 days. In response to the criticism, the Duke of Sussex said he had no choice but to fly private in order to protect his family. The sixth in line to the throne has been now been told to be more like his older brother, Prince William. The suggestion was made by editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine Ingrid Seward after Harry appears to push the public further and further away from his family. Writing in The Sun, she said, if the Duke of Sussex had apologized for using private jets like other people use taxis, and said it was unwise in the circumstances, he could have defused the situation. But to claim he used them to protect his family was simply ludicrous. Everyone wanted to take his American wife Meghan and baby son Archie to their hearts, but everything he does now seems engineered to push us away. Prince Harry and Meghan made a deliberate choice to exclude the public and the media from their son Archie Harrison's christening in July, only releasing two photos from the event. The move was seen as controversial because such milestones in the royal family is usually shared with the world. In addition, when the young tot was born on May 6, 
the Duke and Duchess of Sussex only invited a handful of members of the press to a photo call at Windsor Castle. Members of the royal family before them, such as Prince William and Kate Middleton, has made a habit of showing their newborn children at the steps of St. Mary's Hospital's Lindo Wing in front of an applauding audience. Ms. Seward wrote, Above all, be humble. Don't take the moral high ground. Yet Harry has always rushed in without considering the consequences, unlike his brother William, who is now regarded as someone with statesmanlike qualities. If Harry and Meghan slowed down and took things more gently instead of this frantic grappling for approval and attention they might win public support. Miss Seward also suggested Harry should take lessons from his late mother Princess Diana. She said, looking at the endless criticism, he probably cursed the people he now sees as his enemy the British media. But Harry should follow his mother Diana's mantra and keep your enemies close. Her way of dealing with the enemy was to invite them into her home, flatter them and make them your supporter. Diana was one of the most media savvy women in the world and she knew no one would be able to resist one of her invitations. She knew we would feel obliged to put her opinion across if we had spent some time with her.